Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it, at this time of year, everybody's capable of beating you. Uh, East Carolina in the last five games averaging 80 points a game. So that's what we focus on your opponent's strengths. You don't focus on their record. Uh, and if you're not mature enough to, at this point to know that your team, that any team can beat any team, all you got to do is turn on the TV every night. Tyson and Williams pretty balanced. We have four guys. Uh, but they're pretty balanced overall. They got an interesting guy in Williams. Williams is uh, the most improved player in our conference. I mean, he got, went from averaging one or two a game to double figures. Uh, Tyson's a great, great young player in our league. Uh, is as good a one-on-one -on -one, uh, offensive player as there is in our league. Get his own shot whenever he wants. He can shoot over people. So they, they, they have. Uh, they, they got guys can put the ball in the basket. Scoring's not East Carolina's problem. It hasn't been all year, uh, especially even recently. So they went in and won at Memphis and scored 80 plus. So uh, for us, we got to just focus on the other team and what they can do, not their record. We've talked about this before. There's a lot of teams out there with five, six, seven losses. Uh, eight. Eight. Uh, good teams. Real good teams. What's different about this year than other years? Uh, I have an opinion on that. The, uh, I think the transfer market uh, and the fifth year market, some of the teams that would have been in rebuilding mode are not Louisville, UConn, because they had two fifth year seniors. Uh, and I, so what you see is everybody trying to go where they can play. So parity starts to reign almost like the NFL with a salary cap. Uh, and uh, you know, the, 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 so many teams or so many universities upgrading facilities, uh, you know, that, 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 like if I was to tell you 20 years ago that Dayton and Xavier would travel and have as nice or better facilities than Cincinnati and Ohio State and they would travel just as well, their budgets for basketball would be just as high, you, you, would, you would have said there's no way. And that's just a local example of the improvements, at, you know, everybody trying to be competitive in basketball. So kids see no problem going to places uh, where they can play, and then hence the five to 600 transfers a year. Before they would have Pro, yeah, yeah. So you still have, when I look today, three of your last six games were against top 50 RPI teams, but you still have ample opportunities to make an impression or to climb up. RPI yeah, but we, we just don't think about it. We don't talk about it. We just try to do, talk about what we got to do to get better and prepare to win the next game. But you could talk about it now if you want. No, that's for you, know, that's for you guys. There's enough people that uh, get paid enough money with, with uh, more time than I have on my hands. You know, I, I just I, I, I don't engage in it because I don't want my players to engage in it. I would stay focused on improving your team. Where is Justin Jennifer now in his development at this point? Uh, he's still searching. Uh, you know, I think J Justin is a guy that uh, in high school had to shoot a lot of balls, and he's adjusting to be how to. He wants to help our team, and he still hasn't really figured out how to do it. You know, when you're a guy off the bench, you got to play defense. Uh, you got to distribute the ball. You got to give us energy, uh, and. Uh, He's still struggling with that, you know. So he, as soon as he gets in the game, he gets it, it, him and Quadri are still trying to be who they were in high school. Meaning and he looks too good to shoot. Uh, both of them. I mean, you, but, you, and, but it's it's practice every day. I basically everything off practice because they haven't gotten enough minutes really for you to see what goes on. But uh, what you see in the, when they get in games is just a microcosm of what you see in practice. And it's just you you know it's it, it's almost a starting over. Uh, and you have to, if you're trying to, you, you got to try to get three solid minutes a game, then you get six, then you get 10, then you get 15, you know, then you can get more comfortable with your offensive game. Uh, but in defense of Justin, he's playing behind our best players, so, and our most productive guys. At this point in the season, as you said the other day, you need your seniors and upperclassmen. To yeah, up. yeah, so, you know, it's, it's just, but it's a, just got to continue to coach him. And with Shaq's injury, you know, not knowing when the next time he's going to play, uh, you know, he's going to get opportunity. Are you going to try to hold Shaq out for, for this game to, or just a couple games maybe to get him healthier? Do you know? uh, it, it would be a shock if he would play Saturday. But again, it, you know, we'll see. Because he doesn't have a lot of swelling. He's just got a, he's tender, but he, has no, he does not have swelling. So, so he's day-to-day -day with a leaning, so he's probably not playing. 
Yeah, unless he could really hard go hard in practice and, it, and he has no more ankle injury, he, it, I'm taking over his medical situation. You practice it? I don't know, only if he has no pain. When Octavius, when Octavius gives you uh, the performance and the production that he had the other night, and everything, what's that mean for this team? Well, it's what we need. You know, like Bill, Bill alluded to, you know, there's a lot of good teams out there. The guy, the, but the, the teams that are going to win are going to have guys perform. You know, I still, I'm not sure what his numbers are. I know he had 14 rebounds. I don't know about his points, but I know he missed three layups. So if he had double figures, it could have been even better. So he should have had 16 and 14, really. Uh, but. Uh, I, I just believe that all of us are only going to be as good as our best players are at the end of the year. You know, for us, Gary, Troy, Octavius, you know, Corey helping us as a senior, you know, for Rod being consistent, you know, Kevin's giving us great effort every day. They, they, they're going to perform and we'll, we'll, we'll win games. If they don't, we won't. Uh, we're no different than anybody else in the country. But Octavius, is, obviously, when you look at candidates to play well, since we're in the election craze, you know, it would be huge if he would play well. Can you speak on that was Gary about that was my Donald Trump. Yeah, bad, really bad. Can you speak on Gary Clark's improvement? It's almost like he's grown up from last year to this year. Um, he's getting better. He's getting more consistent. Is that you know, with Gary, it's a matter of conditioning and effort. You know, for him being able to play hard for an extended period of time uh, and stay aggressive and to shed the nice guy routine. You know, that's big for Gary. He's got to shed the nice guy routine. Uh, you know, I base it off his, his, uh, his activity on the film, the way he runs the floor, the way he's going after rebounds. Um, that's, that's the most important thing for him. And to be consistent with it every game and realize I got to play well for our team to win. You know, he, he's got to go in there with that mentality, you know, and that's kind of been something for us all year. So you guys always ask, well, you know, who's your go to guy? Well, we, you know, the guys have got to look in the mirror. It's like, I got to play well for us to win this game. You know, and it, that, that's what's going to have to happen in a stretch run. And he's capable of it. You know, I, I, he's been much more aggressive. Just got to keep him there. But I'm not, I, I, you know, I'm not satisfied. I think he's still got a, a long ways to go as far as how much, how good he can be. Well, yeah, well, Ke you know, with Kevin, his offense comes and goes sometimes, but his, his, he is our, our uh, hardest playing guy in practice every day. Uh, he's our toughest guy uh, as far as embodies what I like in a guy as far as compete, defend, rebound, dig in there. Um, you know, I'm happy for him when he plays well on offense. Sometimes he's, it, it's my opinion that his whole career he's put too much pressure on himself and he, he gets in nervous breakdown mode, and you can't play offense. Uh, he's got to run his own race. Can't try to be somebody he's not. He's got to play with more calm. When he does that on the offensive end, he's fine. But his attitude has been great. His, his energy is great. Uh, he, he, he's a great guy to have as your sixth man because you always, he always brings, whether he makes a shot or not, he makes your team better because he gives you intensity. When you put him in the game, your defensive intensity always goes up. So, you know, and he's taken all, he's embraced that role on our team. Um, you guys are in like the top half of the uh, conference right now. I think it's a game back at first. Uh, what do you think you have to do to, uh, you know, kind of give yourself the best chance of winning the conference and, uh, you know, a successful trip in the conference tournament? Just win games. You know, we don't talk about uh, who's winning the league. We don't, uh, you know, I don't know how many guys know who's in first, stuff like that. Uh, you know, we, we just try to stay focused on improvement and prepare for the next game. Because uh, those are the things we can control. We can't control. If we win every game from here on out, I'm sure we'll probably tie for first place. Well, I, I know we'd beat, that, would, that would give us wins over UConn and SMU. I don't know who else is up in there. Uh, but I'm sure, it would, I'm sure it would put us in first place. So that, that's why I say we don't talk about it, because you've you got to win games, and you're not going to win games if you're worried about things that are outside the lines. So we just try to stay focused on everything we can control inside the lines. All right, guys.